Hey, welcome back. My best friend moved from a 600 square foot tiny house into a big beautiful house. She wanted to make her daughter Maddie a toy room who's never had one before. So she made it right off the kitchen, which was the front living room. I wanted to make it still a place that when you first come in the home, since it's the first room you come into, that was still, you know, a grown up space too, but also a really fun play space for Maddie. So I'm gonna show you that transformation now. It was done on a really small budget. So this is the space just a few days after they moved in. I came with my bag of stuff that I had got for this room and was like, ah, it needs a focal point. It has a great big window, but it's not the first thing you see when you come in the room. This wall is. So I knew that I had to make this wall the focal point somehow. This was the couch that they had. Um, someone donated it to them. It's in amazing shape, but it's super ugly <laughs> but that is awesome because with the quick help of a slip cover this could be transformed into a gorgeous focal point so we, this is where we rearranged some of the furniture and made this on the wall when you first come in and she had this painting already which is going to be the inspiration for the room and I just purchased this inexpensive coffee table and end tables used off Kijiji and they're great because they match this great entertainment stand from Ikea that holds all of the TV and the electronics and all of Maddie's toys. So now that the furniture is placed and we have a focal point, it's time to make it pretty. And this slip cover is amazing. I purchased this at Walmart online, believe it or not. It was $40 and it is by far the best slip cover I've ever used. We used a broom handle to sort of tuck it in and it's this great stretchy material needs to be ironed on the bottom but you get the point it can fit any sofa it's really stretchy and snug and it's got this great like waffle pattern so it really is durable I love it we jumped on and off and on and off and on and off to make sure it doesn't budge these are the lamps that they had from um, her husband's grandfather they were from the house they were horrible the lampshades were busted and broken and they're really old, really dated lamps, but I wanted to use them in the space and transform them to match the space, so I got permission to paint them. This is not as scary as it sounds. We just took these old lamps, I covered up the actual switch part and where the light bulb goes in with a plastic baggie, cleaned them really well with a Lysol wipe and then got to spray painting and we chose to do this same teal that was in the picture that was the inspiration. So this is just a couple of coats, one can of spray paint is all you need, and I tuck the cords up inside. You are not going to believe it. This is the same lamp. So these vintage lamps that were his grandfather now are these gorgeous statement pieces in the room, and they really match and tie into the color scheme. We just picked up some really inexpensive lampshades. So you can see the before, da da da, I mean, and the after. I can't even believe they are the same lamps. Okay, so here's the room put together. Some throw pillows to tie in again. The color scheme, these she actually already had. She already had the picture. So that's why we worked with these colors. A few accessories on the table and these great table and um, end tables I got. I paid $40 for this set, which was an absolute steal. We transformed the coffee table, which had this shelf, into a Lego table. You can see this gray thing on the top is actually a Lego base that and in the bottom that's where all the Legos kept and then in this basket on the top is where we keep the little remotes and the Wii remotes and all that stuff right there nice and handy and it really ties in with the color scheme. They had this great little table and chair set so it was the perfect spot to do homework and coloring and we made a little craft caddy using a basket from the dollar store and solo cups. Just plastic you know throwaway cups put in this basket was perfect for sorting all their little craft station stuff there. This is just put together a little bit tidy, some bins for all her toys and it's chucked full. So much fun. You can see again the before really lacking a focal point, lacking something gorgeous to see when you first come in and then the after for around $200. This room was absolutely transformed into this really beautiful space. And on the other side of the wall when you first come in is where we put just a spot using 3M hooks to hang the keys and these um, picture frames you just write on with a dry erase marker to write little notes and things for the family. So I'm loving this space. Here's my Maddie Magoo playing on her Lego table. Oh, pure bliss. Subscribe for more videos every week for organizing and decorating tips.